A lot of times I heard an expression, I don't need BMW original navigation maps, I'll use my Google Maps or Apple Maps. But did you know that the only way to project the navigation data to your head-up display or combination cluster is with the original BMW maps. It's impossible to project Google Maps or any other, for example, ways to your head-up display. Also, if your BMW is equipped with assistance camera, it's called CAFAS camera, and you have such a nice function as SLI or speed limit information, this is the possibility to read the road signs and project the current speed in your region. If, for example, the road sign is undetectable due to bad weather conditions, the data from the navigation maps is used by the system to project the current speed you should be driving at. Hello, I'm Vladimir and you are on the BeamerDog channel. In today's video, I'll tell you everything about BMW navigation. What type of navigation systems there are present on BMWs, how you can by yourself determine what type of the head unit you have in your BMW, because different head units will have different maps that should go to those. Also, I'll tell you everything about the protection, how BMW protects their system in order not to be a map update possible by third-party units or uh, by yourself. Today, I'll show you how to bypass that security, what type of security layers are over there. And of course, I'll show you everything on the real examples, how you can make it by yourself. So, it will be very interesting. Stay tuned. Obviously, newer BMWs will have way better navigation system than older ones. It makes absolutely sense. That's why the head unit in your BMW should be different. And of course, different head units will use different type of the maps, of navigation maps. First step is how to understand what type of navigation system you have in your car and what type of maps it is using. The easiest way is just by looking at that. Of course, it requires some experience. If you are not such experienced yet and you haven't seen my previous videos, no problem. For example, open your navigation maps with the option button, go to position and version and find what type of the maps your navigation system is using. If you will see, for example, the premium over there, like on that screenshot, you will understand that your BMW is operating with CIC system, it is car information computer. Or if you have next map, it means you have NVT head unit. Or if you have Evo maps, you'll have Evo head unit. If you have Way maps, it means you have Entry Nav 2 head unit. As easy as that. So there are a lot of different maps. So before updating any navigation system, please go to a navigation system, find what type of the maps your system is using and you need to download exactly the same type. So now you already know that different head units use different maps. Have a look to that George's picture. Over here you can see all the modern BMW navigation systems from different years. Of course, different head units will have different type of security and protection. I'll tell you about that in a second. But first, some history about how the head units were developed and so on. So the very first navigation units, they did not have any hard drive in those. So the navigation data was played from the CD or DVD. You just inserted the CD or DVD into your drive of navigation system and maps were read out from that. Those type of head units, they are very old one, but still present. Uh, for example, those head units were produced up to year-ish 2008. So all the MASK, MASK2 or CHAMP or CCC, car communication computer head units, are those that have CDs, the, using the navigation data. Of course, all the older ones like, like MK3 or MK4 that are used on BMW E39 and older cars, they also don't have any protection. Just insert the DVD or CD with the right map data and you are good to go. Since the CIC or car communication computer was introduced by BMW, all the navigation data is placed on the hard drive that's inside the head unit. And in addition, it is protected with FSC code. It is that kind of strange word in German. It means security code. So on that picture, all the head units starting from 2008, it is CIC, car information computer, up to nowadays. So it will be the MGU, iDrive 7. Everything will be protected with special code. 
And today's video main topic will be how to bypass the security of those head units you can see in front of you at the moment. You already understood that protection will be built in by FSC code. FSC codes are divided into two bigger types, FSC short and FSC long. Why it's important to understand that? FSC short format is the older protection code. It consists from 20 digit long code. If you have that code, you will enter that code into the head unit via the iDrive and navigation system will accept that code and allows to map maps to be updated. No worries, I'll show you how to generate that code and how to insert that also. And FSC long code is the code you cannot generate by yourself because it is already FSC long. Actually, it is just a file on your computer you put to your flash drive or the file that is being imported by special software automatically to your head unit to bypass the security. That code is not doable by yourself, but of course you can purchase that. What kind of systems are protected by FSC short and what kind by FSC long? So the head units, everything up to year 2015 is protected by FSC short. So on that screen again, so CIC, CIC mid, NBT entry, entry nav, and NBT EVO ID4. Everything is protected by FSC short. Those codes can be generated by yourself to almost all of those head units. Some exceptions, exceptions will be, for example, entry or NBT EVO ID4. And that's why it is way easier to work with those head units, but those are already uh, kind of old. All the head units starting from 2015 and up. So that will be NBT EVO ID 5, 6 and uh, iDrive uh, 7.0 or MGU. They have FSC long and it is way harder to crack that head unit to work with that. Before we proceed to hacking the head units of different BMWs and bypassing all that security stuff, you have to make your homework. And it is downloading the right maps and putting those to the USB drive. I have several USB drives available with different sizes. I'll show you in a second what type of the file system you have to use on that uh, flash drive, how to copy the maps to the flash drive properly. Because if you will not make that procedure correctly, your BMW will just not see the newest uh, map data or newest maps on your USB drive. And even if you have the FSC code to insert into your BMW, you will just unable to proceed. That's why preparing the flash drive, copying the maps properly to the flash drive is critical. Different head units have different maps. Maps are way, with way, way different res resolution and the level of details. That's why the older maps can just fit into the regular CD disk. It is 700 megabyte maximum. And the newer maps, for example, for the NBT EVO, they weight up to 40 gigabytes. That's why different type of uh, flash drives will be needed. For the CIC head unit, that one, I recommend you to use the flash drive with the size up to 32 gigabytes. All the maps will fit into that flash drive. Why only up to 32 gigabytes? Because CIC is kind of old system. The file system should be FAT32 or extended FAT. Nothing bigger, no NTFS, nothing like that. If you will format, if you will use the bigger flash drive, for example, uh, 64 gigabytes or even like terabyte, SSD, whatever. Bigger flash drives cannot be formatted into the FAT32 with the standard Windows means. Yes, I'm aware that you can use third-party solutions to format the bigger volumes into the FAT32 file system, but that will not work on BMW. So please do not do that. So on the CAC, 32 gigabytes, FAT32. On the NBT head units, producing start was 2012-2013, you have to use 64 gigabyte flash drive or bigger. Hard drive or SSD drive will also work for that. File system, I highly recommend you to use extended FAT or NTFS. Extended FAT is preferred. And all the head units that are newer than NBT, so NBT EVO, the MGU and all that stuff, all the bigger flash drives, so 64 gigabytes or up. 
because those navigation maps just weigh a lot, like gigabytes, tens of gigabytes. That's why they just cannot be transferred anyhow over the air into your car. You just have to download them, put to your flash drive and proceed with the correct procedure. At the beginning of the video, I showed you how to determine the version of the maps you are using and the head unit type. In addition to that, world is very big. So the world is divided into the parts and that's why different parts of the world on the same system will have different maps. For example, there will be different maps for Northern America, Southern America, Europe. Europe is such a big that it's even divided into on the some head units into the West and into the East. Japan, New Zealand, Australia, Middle East, Africa, every region will have their own maps. That's why I just cannot give you the ultimate source, the ultimate link where all the maps are present, you can download everything and so on. That's why I just use the source I have found the best one. This is that website. I guess you were familiar with that. If into the Google you will type in the correct search words, you will find it. How to find those? For example, type in Europe, Evo, Maps, Download. That's it. Or whatever map type or region you are looking for. Step one is done. Maps are downloaded. Now you have to copy those maps to the flash drive correctly. Believe me, that's the most common mistake. People are just making that step wrong. Either the file system is wrong or they're putting in the wrong place and, and so on. I'll show you exactly how that should be done. So you will be okay. So have a look to my computer. All those works uh, with the uh, navigation data maps can be done either on Mac or Windows. But I have noticed that sometimes if you're making the format procedure on the Mac and copying the navigation maps uh, on the Mac system, it's making something a bit differently and maps are being not recognized by BMW. That's why I highly recommend you to use Windows based computer for that operation. So let's see the maps. For example, over here, you can see the maps for NBT Evo and you can see the size of those. So if you download the map from somewhere, it most likely it will be compressed with the archive and it will weight almost 32 gigabytes. You have to unpack those. Unpacking is easy. For example, use 7-zip or whatever other computer. You press just extract here or extract to MBT Evo, whatever, it doesn't matter. You will get in the end that kind of folder. And it is very important. You have to copy the content of that folder into the flash drive, into the root of the flash drive formatted flash drive. This is very important because if you'll just copy that folder, as you can see in the moment uh, at your screens, to the flash drive itself, the BMW will not find those maps. You have to copy the content. Different maps will look a bit differently. That's why uh, some maps will have several folders and only one file. Some maps will have uh, different structures and so on. But all those things should be copied to the flash drive. So how to format the flash drive properly? Take a flash drive, insert it into the computer. For example, as you can see, I have next 2022 maps over here. You just go to your computer. You'll see what type of maps are there. With the properties, we can see the file system, you can see it's XFAT. Remember, I have recommended you the XFAT because that will be the way, way better. And what you have to do, right click on the flash drive, press format, make sure you have quick format selected, otherwise to do this too long. I always recommend you to make the correct label of the maps. So in a couple days or weeks later, you'll find your flash drive, you can check what maps are present there. You're just checking the right file system, NTFS or XFAT. I recommend you XFAT and then just pressing start and the flash drive will be formatted. Because we will be working with the NVT EVO today and the CIC head units on the background, I'll format uh, the needed flash drives, copy the needed maps over there and we can proceed with that. 
Remember, I told that different maps will look a bit differently on different uh, flash drives. For example, over here we have next, those are the maps for the NBT. You can see five folders and only three files. And you can see this is the root of the flash drive. What do I mean by root? So this is the flash drive, you just go there and it should be already present there. Nothing extra additional, no any subfolders, anything. So just copy the maps to that location. So this is the NBT and for the EVO maps, we'll, I'll use another flash drive where the maps are already prepared. So inserting the maps and we will see so EVO 2022, I'll, I'm opening the flash drive and you can already see the files are present there. So this is the correct way how to copy the maps to the flash drive. Sometimes if you are working with the FSC long and you are changing the region of the car, for example, from Northern America to the Europe or whatever other, the feature installer, the code that you have got from my Telegram bot, by the way, if you haven't checked it out, uh, have a look, it's very handy and it can gener generate the um, FSC longs for your head units without any issues. It comes together with the carplay activation, screen mirroring activation and all that nice stuff. So, if you're using the Telegram bot, uh, you got the code for the feature installer, you have made the activation on your desktop, you will have the file called FSC something. So, next step is most likely you will not need that step but in some cases if you have got your FSC long code you have problems with the map activation the car asks you for please insert a USB drive with the proper code and so on so you will require that one step so after the activation you will get the FSC code this is the FSC long on your desktop it should look like something like that you can open it for example with a notepad and if you open it actually you can see that you just can't understand anything there. But this is the, how the FSC will uh, look like. What do you need to do with that? You will just copy the FSC code to the same place where you have your maps. We will be working with the MBT Evo today and you just copy that FSC over there. That FSC will suit only the car with a certain VIN code, so that FSC will work only with the car for that VIN code. Also, different regions will have different FSC codes. For example, for the Europe, you can see 120 or 120. It means that FSC is for navigation maps for the European region. If you have, for example, Northern America, you will have FSC number 121, and so on, and so on, and so on. If that can copy paste, does not work on your system for whatever reason. Next uh, life hack you can use, create new folder called FSC and copy that file into that FSC folder. Done. So the structure of your flash drive should look uh, like that one. That could happen if you have changed the region of the head unit. That's why you need to use that technique. If, for example, your car is from the European region, you have purchased the FSC long for the Europe, you will not need that step because the feature installer, the software I'm using, and you have purchased the code for, it will automatically build in the right FSC into the head unit and you will have no problems at all. So, we have prepared together the flash drive for the NBT EVO. This is 64 gigabytes with the EVO maps. Also, on the background, I have prepared the maps for the CIC head unit because it's use, it uses FSC short and for better, better training purposes, I'll show you today how to update the maps on the, with the head units that are protected with the FSC short and with the FSC long. If you find that information on my channel useful, make sure to hit the subscribe button. That will notify the YouTube that you're interested in such topics and it will recommend uh, my videos to more users. Thank you. Now it's time for the practice. Let's go to my garage and have a look how you can hack the head unit to get the FSC short and after that, of course, how to use the FSC long. As example, how to work with BMW navigation systems where protection is made by FSC short. 
we have that kind 7 series over here. The owner of that car brought the car to me and told basically Vladimir, make the full software update, make the chip tuning, make all possible codings, do whatever you want, I just have that perfect car. That's why we'll use that 7 series today, it is F01, with, it's actually it's fully packed, I have just made the full software update, 39 ECUs took uh, 2 hours. So let's connect to the car and I'll show you how you can read out the need information from the head unit based on that generate short FSC and how to import that short FSC into the car. One very important detail, if you have CIC head unit, so the maps are premium, then the update is still made via the USB stick, but that USB stick should go into the glow box. You should have, as you can see, USB output over there. In addition to that, some cars could have also with the CIC the USB outputs in the armrest, but that's not the right place. Because with the CIC head units, those two USBs are connected differently. The one in the glove box, this one is connected to the rear part of the CIC and it is meant to import the navigation data. The one that is in the armrest, it is connected through the COM box if you have that and that's made only for the music to play from the USB. That's why it's very important difference. If you have NBT head unit or the next maps, you should update the maps with the armrest USB because you will not have any USB outputs in your glow box. I have inserted the USB into the drive at the glow box and you can see actually the navigation system is offering me, it tells that I have the newer data on the USB. Do you want to update? Press Abnavit or that stands for update in Russian. You press it OK and actually now you can see it requires for the code and now I'll show you how to generate that code. That will be 20 digit long FSC, uh, it is FSC short actually and only after, in, after entering that code you'll be able to update your navigation. I have connected to the car using the Enet cable. ICOM will work even better than Enet. DCAN cable will not work for that because it's unable to read the information we need from the head unit. So, establishing the connection via the Enet cable. There are actually several ways how you can read out the needed information from the head unit. I'll show you the easiest way with the help of the special software. You can do the same thing with the help of the ACs as well. It's a bit more complicated but still doable. So you'll require such app called uh, 1B or DE reader. If you have CIC head unit you should use 1B file or if you have NBT head unit you should use DE, that's for NBT because the inner structure of the head units is a bit different. So you're selecting, you're working with E or F series and just pressing connect, read win, read FSC, save file, done. The head unit is cracked and we have read out all the needed information from the head unit and saved it to the special FSC file. We will require that file to generate the activation code. Guys, the first time I was making the update of the navigation system of my BMW, it took me two weeks for exactly the same process. And you saw how fast actually it is if you know where to press and how to press. So we have that one file. We can place it to the desktop, for example. Now we'll need some kind of code uh, generator to, cr uh, to create the FSC code itself. We're opening uh, that kind of uh, code generator. We're opening the file we have read out from the head unit. We are selecting the maps uh, we have on our USB that will be uh, Premium Europe and I have 2022. I didn't download the latest one, but actually it doesn't matter for that example. So I have a USB version. Uh, actually, yes, a USB version. Good. Uh, the code for the West and for the East will be exactly the same, so it doesn't matter. And if you press generate, over here you'll see the code itself. If you enter that code into the head unit, the update will start. But that's only one-time code. It means if 
you insert that and next time the client wants to update the navigation or yourself want to update the navigation, the car will ask you for another code. If you want to make it lifetime, just press lifetime code and press generate. You can see the code is different, but that will be enough. So the car will not ask for navigation code anymore. And now the most painful process, you just have to type in that code using the iDrive and just selecting the right digits. So you'll take that code and insert it into the head unit. I have entered the code, pressed OK, and you can see the update process has begun. Some things to know about the update process. The process takes around 45 up to 50 minutes. It can be interrupted without any problems. Just do not take out the USB drive from the, your armrest or from the glove box. If, for example, you turn off the ignition, go to the shop, gas station, whatever, uh, ignition goes off, navigation unit goes into sleep, the process will continue from exactly the same place where it was stopped before. So no problem with that. When the update will be finished, you can just take off the USB stick from the uh, USB slot. The navigation system will restart and then after that you will see that the maps are updated and you can enjoy newer maps. It's time to deal with a bit more fancier cars and more sophisticated head units with better protection, such as FSC Long. As you already know, you cannot generate the FSC Long by yourself, but of course you can purchase that. If you have done that step, so you have uh, used my Telegram bot, you have the activation code for your MBT EVO, you have made your homework, you have MBT EVO maps prepared on your flash drive, now it's time to go in the car, insert the flash drive and that's it, it will be done. One more interesting trick uh, for you to know, you can see the blue car, this is the F34, it has NBT EVO in that, and the white one, the G30, it also has NBT EVO in that. One, of the S, one is F generation and the second one is G generation, but the head unit, the maps they will be using are exactly the same, so it doesn't matter what type of the platform you have, the most important is the type of the head unit you have in the car, the type of the head units you have already covered at the beginning of the video. Now let's go and update the navigation maps. The process will be very straightforward. The most important is homework, how you make your preparations. If everything is done properly, the car will accept the navigation maps, all the codes are already applied and you are good to go. It's absolutely okay to start your car. So the car started. Wait a bit until the navigation map uh, goes live. Just for information, we can just always check the version. Settings, position version, and version information. And you can see we have uh, Europe region, NBT EVO, type of the map, and 2022 slash 1. So that's the first version, and on our USB drive we have slash 2 or a bit updated. If on older head units like CIC we had some USB in our glove box to update, on the newer head units you will have either the USB uh, over here in front or actually under the armrest. I always recommend you to use the armrest one. The only thing you will need to do, open the armrest, take the USB drive and insert that into the right place. As always with the USB, it never goes in correctly with the first time, so you have to reverse it a couple times. Now pay attention to the uh, head unit. It shows you that head unit has detected the newer maps. You press OK and the update will start. So you can see the process has begun. If you didn't use the FSC long or your head unit was not hacked before, you will have away another message like that one. It means that your head unit is not prepared for the navigation map update. And exactly the same as with the uh, CIC update, you can stop the process, it's absolutely okay. For example, if you have to go to the shop or you have arrived home and your maps are not updated fully yet, just do not take out the USB drive, 
leave them in the car the BMW will continue the map update next time you will turn on the ignition the process on the NBT EVO will take almost the same 45 to 50 minutes if accidentally you have just closed that message and return to the main screen wherever you can always see how the process goes you go again to the navigation map open map with the option tab with the option button you press option button you'll have another menu available and you'll have one more choice navigation data update you highlight that one and you can see the progress is running as usual i'll continue the map date map update on the background i will not waste your time everything is easy if you know the answer that's why in my videos i always try to cover the topic in the most details possible so you'll get better in the future and we'll have less troubles working with the bmws see you next time bye